I would like to welcome y'all to my iteration of Bum to Stun in this series, gang. I'm going to be showing y'all my own personal rise from being a complete nobody to being a baller in GTA Online, brody. And I'm going to do it all solo by myself, bro. In this episode, gang, I got y'all my very first $1 million as well as investing in my very first business in GTA Online, gang. So without further ado, let's get into it, brody. So starting this bad boy off, bro, unfortunately, I am on the next gen console. So I do have to go through this whole criminal empire picking thing or whatever rockstar got going on buddy so i'ma just go ahead and tell y'all a little bit of the breakdown man i went executive because it's literally hands down the best thing to go through and i went and got a bunch of you know little neat pics or whatever man i ain't finna tell y'all all that because it'll just take too long so long story short i ended up spending a total of three million six hundred and eighty thousand four hundred dollars and i ended up retaining three hundred nineteen thousand six hundred dollars which I'm gonna spend immediately. Like, I'm gonna have no bread once I'm said and done, gang. Now that that's all said and done, now I gotta create my character. And for me, I'm going with the homie Damien Saint. If y'all don't know who Damien Saint is, Damien Saint is my iteration of the son of Franklin Saint. We finna build this empire. Franklin, you go ahead and finish. Go ahead and tell him how we gonna do this. Brick by brick. And I'll be damned if I let you tear it down just because you don't like the way another nigga talk. So there we go, bro. Now we got Damien saying out the way, man. Let's go on here. And we're going to go. I'm going to go ahead and knock out this little tutorial thing, man. I got to go through this little tour tutorial stuff before we get into that. I'm going to go and knock that out. And I'm going to see y'all when we actually get in the true free mode, which is the true expenses of the game. Let's get into it. Now that I got all that knocked out, Brody, I'm showing y'all right now, Brody. I'm completely broke. Once I went into free mode, I went into some stores, got my boy Damien all the way set up the way I wanted him to look, gave him his perfect look, and basically I spent all the money, man. I bought hair, I bought him an outfit, and I bought him some tattoos, and now I'm completely broke. I also bought him a few new weapons and stuff like that, and now I'm completely broke. And let's get into how I'm going to go ahead and start off this money-making mission, getting my first million as well as investing in my first business so the first thing i want to start off with brody this is what i'm starting off with first my very first mission in this thing is to do the house special race now unfortunately you don't get no money for this but this will unlock something down the line that i will probably get into in the next episode that will help out a whole whole lot basically if you do this you basically complete this race or whatever for how and you basically got them get you a free hsw upgrade for the appropriate HSW vehicles. Now, like I said, I'm gonna get into what vehicle I get, what vehicle I'm gonna boost up, and the reasons why I'm gonna do it, probably in the next episode, because for right now, I'm basically just focusing on making money in free mode, completely just free mode based, or completely just without any CEO, without any prior businesses, anything like that. So, I'm gonna knock this out, we are gonna go ahead and get that done, and then after that said and done, we are gonna go ahead and get into the next thing. So with that done, we finally got the how special work um little what's the name or whatever we got our free hsw upgrade now like i said we're gonna ignore that for now we're gonna completely ignore that for now y'all see me on the hood kuchu drag so y'all can understand what i got going on already in the game so next right after we get done with the house special race i want to focus on my first money making venture which is the vander lind treasure map thing buddy so basically you end up getting this email in your mailbox or in your email or whatever how you want to look at on your phone and you basically get a random spot on the game that you started up this was the location that i got this is the very exact location it's plenty of where um videos and stuff that you can search up gta series videos got an amazing video that they can help you start it off but you want to go to this spot and you're going to read this little note it's going to be a note on a piece of on like a, a phone pole or something you read that and you basically started up once you started up you're going to have these three bubbles these three question marks all over the map gang you want to just follow these question marks and get all your clues so your first clue gonna be over here in this little cave you're gonna walk into this little opening once you get to the area it's gonna be a nice little quick little opening and you just walk in and you're gonna see like this dead guy and that's gonna be your very first clue to this vanderlyn treasure map 
treasure hunt, money making thing right here, gang. Your second clue is gonna be kind of like right outside Trevor spot. You will see it, like I said, but you wanna look for this this shovel and blood spot thing, and that's gonna be the second clue that you get for the treasure hunt, gang. And for the third location, you gonna basically look under a tree, and you gonna see like this open box with like a it's gonna be like a gun indention in it, and you really just you got all three. Then after all three, you, a chest is gonna pop up on your map. And you basically just hide on waypoint and just go to it. Once you get to the chest, you're gonna come up on these two bodies. It's gonna be like two dudes, two, two, two dead guys sitting here. You're gonna come up on this chest. It's gonna be a box. You interact with it and you're gonna grab yourself the golden revolver. Now, once you get the golden revolver, what you wanna do is you're gonna have a chance. Now you do have to have your social club linked to your GTA account. So if you ain't got that, make sure you have a social club linked to your GTA account. And then basically what you wanna do is you wanna do this. 50 headshot challenges. Basically, you want to use the golden revolver and get 50 headshots on anybody in the game. They can be players, cops, NPCs, whoever. Just find you a spot and just go crazy. Just get you some headshots. And after you get done with your headshots, you should have a notification after you're done with your headshots letting you know that you completed it and you will be rewarded with $250,000. And that's how we getting our first little couple of bucks in this bad boy. All right, my nigga. So next, after you get done with that, you should, by this point, have gotten an email from the homie Mod. Mod is going to be your bounty hunter lady, bro. You basically want to do these bounty hunts. And it's basically another treasure map. So basically how you do these, bro, they're going to pop up. On the um, she gonna email you. You open up the email, or you can visit her home. You can visit her home. I think she got like a spot on the map or whatever. And you visit her home, and you basically can start these up. She'll send you an email of a bounty target. You go to the area, and you look around the area. The closer you are, you are gonna start hearing these little bell chimes in the background. Once you hear the bell chimes, you are gonna really know that you're close. Just run up on the person. She'll send you a picture and all that. You run up on the person. You beat them up. This is how it works. So if you want to take them alive, you take them alive to get 10,000 or you kill them to get five. You, you get paid for these. But I would say for me, I went on ahead and just took them alive because we try to make as much money as we can. So basically all five of these, there are five of these that you have to do before you actually can get rewarded with the actual treasure itself. So you do these five, you take them on, you can take them alive or take them dead. It's really up to you however you want to do it. Um, basically, on the thing that changes, if you kill him, you get five thousand. If you bring him alive, you get ten. So you do this five times. It really don't wait. It really don't take that long for her. Once you deliver one, you gotta wait a little bit of time. But it really don't take that long. It took like roughly two ish minutes every time. And in between those times, I really just went out my way and went to gas stations and pretty much robbed the gas stations on some OG stuff. If you're an OG player, you know that robbing gas stations is one of the number one ways we've made money. So I kind of just wanted to, to do a little throwback. And every time I went through one of these during the little wait period, I went to a gas station and just robbed, um, robbed the gas station. But I'm gonna cut to when I get to the very last one. I'm gonna turn it in, then we're gonna go ahead next and go ahead and proceed with the actual treasure hunt itself. So now that, that I got to the last one, we bringing them in alive. Done. Now you should have a new chest pop up on your map. Um, for me, it, it was all the way out here at the lighthouse. So what I had to go do, I had to go to uh, the airfield, the Santa Shores airfield, grab me a helicopter and fly out there. Now, now that I got out there, I went on ahead and I went on ahead to open up the treasure map. You get the stone hatchet on this part right here, buddy. So you get the stone hatchet and you're going to be rewarded with another challenge. This challenge with the stone hatchet is basically get 25 kills. But the stone hatchet is, is it got a little cr uh, crazy ability. Basically, with every kill that you get in rapid succession, you basically get like this rampage ability, which is basically the Trevor event, um, ability from the story mode. So you just go out your way, kill you 25 people. It's the exact same thing, man. You can kill NPCs, players, cops, whoever. If it breathes, you can kill it. You know what I'm saying? Just go out, just go crazy, go on your murdering spree, and then you're gonna reward yourself. Once you out, once it's all said and done, you're gonna go ahead and nab yourself another 200 and fifty thousand dollars which at this point you should be well over five hundred thousand dollars at this very point in your career so now after you get done with that i want you to focus all your attention to the the dax missions go up to ron jacowski on right here on the map and you want to focus all your attention 
to the Dax from first those missions. That's basically what we're gonna be doing. We're basically gonna be trying to invest ourselves into the acid lab. So what you wanna do, just go up in here, do all six of these first those missions, knock these out, and we're gonna go ahead and do it like that, man. So I'm gonna hit y'all when I get to the last mission, once we grab the brick A six by six, and we're gonna go ahead and invest in all of that and, and stuff like that. But before I get into it, hold on, revert. Before I get into it, you with every last one of these missions, you get paid. And if it's your first time doing it and you're doing it at a ho as a host, every first dose mission that you do, you get a bonus of fifty thousand dollars. Which at the and then at the end, the very last one that you do when you grab the um, brigade six by six, you get a bonus two hundred and fifty thousand dollars. We will put which will put you well over our one million dollar goal for this very first part right here, gang. So I'm gonna hit y'all when we get back from doing all these missions. I'ma add in some Dax Fooligan jobs in, in the middle as well because you wanna you wanna do these Dax Fooligan jobs to actually make your asset lab actually 100% worth it and stuff like that so you can get the equipment upgrade. So I'ma be doing a little bit of those in between. I think I only managed to get like two, maybe three of them throughout my play session or whatever, but that's what we are gonna be doing, gang. I'ma continue working on these and you know, by hopefully by the next part or whatever, I'll be on like the last few or I'll completely be done with them. But I'm gonna hit y'all once we get back from doing all these little Dax missions. All right, gang, so now we picking up the Brick A 6x6. Six six. We grabbing this thing. We're gonna take it back to, um, what his name is. We're gonna take it back to Dax and them goof ass and we're gonna go ahead and get ready to have our money and get ready to invest in our very first business in GTA Online. So now that we done done that, we got our $250,000 and we basically, got the million dollars we have hit the one million dollars and i've done this completely solo completely free um completely you know just free roam stuff i didn't do no mission not no missions i didn't do no ceo things no vip work no none of that just treasure maps free mode stuff i did do like a couple of blue dot missions and i picked up like a couple of action figures along the way which only nabbed me a couple of thousand or whatever but you know, I did completely free, completely free mode stuff and these Dax missions. So now we got our million dollars. We have exactly one million two hundred seventy-six thousand seven hundred and seventy dollars. Let's go ahead and go in here and invest in our very first business, which is the Acid Lab. So before we can invest in, we got to go out our way and pick up the equipment stuff to basically start it up, bro. So we're gonna go out here, we're gonna murder us a couple of dudes, load up this truck, bring the truck back, and we can start our Acid Lab business. So now that that's done, gang, we're going to go ahead and start up the SLA business. We're going to go ahead and get this bad boy cracking. 750000 out of our out of our $1.2 million plus. Let's go ahead and go ahead and buy that thing. There you have it, gang. We got our very first ever business. Probably the best solo business, starter solo business that you can get into in GT Online. We gonna, in the next episode, we're going to definitely be utilizing this bad boy and basically using this to basically help us you know kickstart our criminal empire we basically trying to turn the saint empire into something crazy and i'm telling y'all it's gonna be something magnificent watch, watch what i'm telling you gang i got you folks i got you this shit gonna be hard my nigga this shit gonna be hard i'm telling you watch this bro but there it is gang bro that's my first first episode this is the first episode of my bum the stun broke the ball in rags to riches Whatever we want to name this series, gang, this is the first episode, brother. We made our first $1 million completely solo and invested into our first ever business, which was the Acid Lab business, gang. I definitely do appreciate y'all rocking with this. Y'all let me know how y'all like this video. This is my first ever crack at this video and stuff. I know my commentary probably all, all over the place or whatever, man. But I'm basically just trying to show y'all my way of making these, making money completely solo in 2023. Hopefully y'all can get some type of information from this. You know, if you starting out new, maybe you can use this as a guide to, you know, kickstart your own criminal enterprise um, or whatever in detail line. But I'm finna get on up out of here. Like I said, in the next episode, brody, we're gonna be basically trying to thrive for, you know, selling our businesses. We're gonna, you know, utilize a little bit more our businesses. And hopefully by the end of that, we'll be able to invest in the Kasaka submarine. And probably in the episode after that, man, we'll be able to do a, um, some casino high and then you know once we hit the casino heist it's up from there gang but i'm finna get ready to get on up out this thing man as i always say y'all be easy take care make sure you leave a like on the video if you enjoy subscribe if you new and um yeah man i'm about this thing peace